Good morning, hello, it's Easy Blessings, and today we want to talk about believing in God in these troubled times. You all agree with me that this time in the world, this age, in our various countries, there are one troubles or the other. There's so many things that are bothering us, so many things that brings us worry. We can you can see the killings, the burning of livelihood, like some markets of people, people's source of income are being burnt down, particularly in several countries of the world. The destruction is happening here and there. There are, there are insecurity, a huge insecurity job insecurity um even people walking about cannot just walk about without being too careful in the night there is high rate of corruption bribery there is the uh, investment insecurity you can invest your money and you're not even sure of uh, getting it back at any time soon or maybe the time that you plan so there is high rate of insecurity now even fraud is happening hunger and so many things are happening in today's world high inflation rates sometimes with both the things you even expect to get you cannot even assess them again so in this kind of time you need to believe god you need to make god your anchor you need to make god your hope you know because you cannot trust in in mere horses you cannot trust in mere chariot i want to read from the word John 14 verse 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God and believe in Jesus Christ. Believe in me also. So the key thing to help us in troubled times is believing in God. The key things to help us in troubled times is um, having that faith. Having that faith, believing that everything is going to work out. Everything is going to be all right. So that's the first point. That scripture is actually saying, let not your heart be troubled. It means it means that you have the power to let you have the power to allow that thing to happen or you have the power to not allow so it's within your own control you can choose to be troubled or you can choose to not be troubled you can choose to um, trust God and you can choose to um, let uh, the things that are happening to you trouble you so much that you can't even concentrate on any other thing so let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Have the faith of God. You can remember the children of the Israelites. They have that faith. Even though they have not seen the other side, even though they have not seen the promised land, they had the faith that they were going to go through. Even they, they moved out with that eagerness to get to their promised land. They moved out and till they got to the Red Sea. Sometimes when we're going to our promised land, to our destination, we can find out that there are some hindrances, there are some huge things that may come to stop us, like the Red Sea in their own account. So at that point, they begin to blame their leader, begin to say, we'll stone you, you would have left us where we are, but they were actually in slavery. They were actually down, they were actually doing a lot of good uh, manpower without getting rewarded for what they were doing, adequately rewarded. So they, they deserve to be free, free from slavery, free from poverty, free from the things that are weighing them down, free from uh, the pain they were passing through because they were not really okay. They were not comfortable in the situation that they were facing. But you know, when they saw this huge problem, they begin to say, ah, you would have left us where we were. So it is important for us to think about our own lives. What are we really thinking? Sometimes when we're about to be delivered from a situation, when we're about to move forward, we find out that we're, we were having some kind of regret. I would have stayed back. But you were just going to pass through that particular obstacle and get to your promised land. So I like what Jesus said. God ministered to Moses at that moment and said, you're going to use your road. And he said, what's that road? What's the road going to do for me? What can it achieve? Sometimes the things that we're looking down on are just the things that we need for our own breakthrough. So he says, track the rock on the water and the sea will pass. And he obeyed. So even if it doesn't make sense, it pays to obey God. It pays to um, move ahead. Just do what God says you should do and then move on. So he he struck the, the rod on the sea and it parted. And so the Red Sea divided and they moved on to their promised land. So that's just faith. In fact, the word of God says, have the faith of God. So when Jesus was looking at that sea, he really saw that there was a, a way that was made in the midst of the sea. So some things that seemed uh, impossible became uh, 
possible for them. So that's the main thing to um, count on. See how God sees. When you're seeing in an obstacle on your path, believe that there is a way around that. Believe that you're going to get over it. Believe that you're going to um, overcome that challenge. You're going to uh, become better, become stronger by the things that uh, you're going through. And there is a, a lesson for everything. So there is a lesson that God wants you to learn in that thing that you're going through. There are sicknesses here and there. There are repeated affliction. It's time to rise up and pray and insist on God's will for your life. Insist on God's healing for your life. Begin to claim the wealth and the wholeness that you deserve, that you have already in Christ, that you have the right to assess in Christ. So when we're having this trouble situation, it's normal to fear. It's normal to slide into being troubled straight away. It's normal to start uh, worrying and being heavenly burdened. It's normal to begin to feel bitter, begin to complain and say, Ah, oh, God has forgotten me. Oh, this has not happened to me. It's normal to have all those experiences, but you can choose to um, express positive emotions rather. You can choose to say that the joy of the Lord is my strength. You can choose to decree and declare clear what you want to achieve for your life so i will share five major scripture to anchor on i've already shared john 14 verse 1 which says that let not your heart be troubled believe in god believe also in jesus christ do not allow your heart to be troubled because your heart is the center of everything it is out of your heart that you can make decisions it is your heart that even uh, makes you who you really are so number two in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, he says, Fear not, for I am with you. God has promised to be with us in all situations, no matter the persecution we may be going through. God has promised to be with you. He said, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. So, I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. God has promised help to us. God has promised his presence with us. Emmanuel, God with us. It means that God is with you in all circumstances. God is with you in all situations of life. Do not feel that you are alone. God is with you. In fact, Moses said that I will not go except your presence go with me. The main thing that you need is the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord brings you favor. The presence of the Lord makes things easy for you. The presence of the Lord gives you an edge over others. So fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. God has promised strength for you, especially inner strength. Inner strength is what we, we, we deserve in this kind of time. So rely on the presence of God for everything and for every time of your life and all life situations. Number three is the scripture that says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all what we can ask or think or imagine so believe in that, that god is able to do those things that you are expecting from him god is the, the scripture actually said that god can do more more than you are asking or you are thinking god can do more so always believe that there is more for you always believe that god can do it for you and much more than in fact the scripture actually said that eyes have not seen ears has not heard it does not even come to the imagination of man what god has planned to do for you so the key thing is believing in god for your circumstances for your situations for those visions that you have for those uh, dreams that you have believe god and he will help you and he will see you through okay the fourth one is uh, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So I've mentioned so many things that we're facing in this time. There are wars, there are sicknesses, there are diseases, there are um, insecurity here and there, corruption, bribery, um, debt, you know, a lot of things are happening, losses, delays, disappointments, disfavors. He said that no weapon formed against some of these things are done spiritually. Some of these things are arrows sent to you. Some of these things happen without our knowledge. He said, you have to believe that word and take charge of that word for yourself, for your life, for your home, for your circumstances. He said, no, we conform against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you shall be condemned. So arise and condemn it. And everything that has been planted against you, arise and uproot it out of your life. And the final one is Psalm 23, which we always say in our prayers. And we, we it's very popular. And this scripture is so rich. It said, the Lord is my shepherd 
said, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. You know, that means that God is sufficient for you. God is able to provide for you. God is able to sustain you. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I'm walking through the valley and shadow of death, there's, there's troubled times. There are troubled situations. He said, I will not fear for thou art with me. You see, that's the presence of God, especially for those that are in Christ. If you're in Christ, God has assured us of his ever presence. And with his presence, we can achieve anything. We can make it. We can triumph. So you just need to believe in that. So he said that how he restores my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness. For his name say, even though I watch in the valley and shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rock and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup on it over and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me not you be chasing about goodness and mercy said it shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So believe in this scripture. Believe in the word of God. Guard your heart. Let not your heart be troubled. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for watching do like share and subscribe to this channel for more of fit videos emotional well-built videos and parenting thank you so much and bye bye